I'm probably gonna have to start training eventually though. Cause it has came a couple moments where I did get backed up pretty good. I don't wanna get backed up and fall off the edge. Cause that would suck. That would definitely suck. Okay. So where's the last guy at? Probably a couple slow guys. Yep, there's the last zombie. Get out of here. I forgot to get my goblin knuckles. Oh well. Even though I don't really need the goblin knuckles, if I do go down and have to knife, it's going to be annoying with the bowie knife. I think it's going to be two knives now on the gremlin rounds. I think on the second round of them, it was, or the third round of them, it starts becoming two knives. So I think it's going to be two knives next time. And the Garvin Knuckles, I believe, it's to like fourth or fifth round, I believe. I don't know, I'm just making stuff up as I go along, to be quite honest. So I'm nearly out of ammo on this gun. But this gun survived two rounds without running out of ammo. Two rounds is not bad, especially since that was the gun with the least amount of ammo in it. And it survived two rounds. Even though I did get max ammo at the middle of round 17. It still wasn't too bad. These guns will probably last a lot longer. If I stop wasting ammo, that is. I love the red dot sign on this gun, though. Probably the best attachment you can get. I don't really see the point of that stupid target finder, though. How it shows up where the zombies are. Um, whenever you aim down sights, I don't really see the point in that. I mean, it's not that hard. In motor players, sure, I can see the point. But in zombies, it's not that hard because, I mean... They're two feet away from you. I don't think you're going to have a problem seeing them unless your vision's really bad. And you're like almost blind. Then you should even be playing zombies in the first place. Therefore, you don't need the target finder. Wow, well, end of round already? Hello, zombie. Okay, that's that zombie. And he's dead. Nice. Okay. 260 headshots. Wow. We're up like 70 headshots in a couple rounds. I don't usually try and get headshots. So if I have that much headshots, that's pretty good for me. Even though this gun is a pretty good gun to get headshots on. I mean, just do like that and you can easily aim at their head. Even though PC does have aim assist, this gun is still a monster at aiming at heads. Even on PC. Uh, my throat's starting to get dry now. I should have probably grabbed a drink before I start recording. Because Bear Wars have done a solo commentary like this. Been mainly playing co op zombies. Co op custom zombies, that is. Usually for my challenges, I like to do it solo, but for custom zombies, I most of the time do it co-op. Unless, like, everybody else is busy, or it's a really awesome map that I've been wanting to play, and I want to play solo. Just to, like, either make an update, talk to you guys, or just, like, play solo because I want to. Most of the time, I do play co-op, though. But challenges, I like to stick it solo. It just makes it a lot easier. Because then I know that I'll always follow the rules. And playing co-op, people may decide to break the rules. And I don't even realize it. And then the challenge just turns into a fail. Because they didn't want to follow the rules. And the commentary is just bad. So, so I can make sure the rules are being followed. I like to play solo for challenges. Every once in a while, I'll play co-op on challenges, though. But most of the time, I do play it solo. Just for that reason only. 
But like I said, custom zombies I like playing co-op. Wow, we're already on round 21. We're fixing to be. This is the last zombie. Wow, round 21. And running kind of low on the um, AN-94. Was it going to be gremlins? Hmm. Yep, it is. So see, I'm going to get max ammo now. Nice. Please don't mess up my claymores. You know what, gremlins? Come over here. Just so I know that you won't mess up my claymore collection. I can waste all the ammo I want to. And that zombie just fell through the floor. You guys see that? Kind of weird. What did she say? Jumpy jump jack jumper? Something like that? Never heard that quote before. Come on, creepy crawler. Where are you? There you are. Teleporting everywhere. Think you're a boss. Nice. Okay, so we got ammo now. And we used like one and a half um, guns in like four or five rounds. And now we got max ammo, so we can use the AK-74U again. Okay, we should be getting close to the Claymore max limit now. I just have that there, and I can easily go back here. And all those claymores will blow up and kill the zombies. That's basically why I got that there. In case you guys didn't know. Or if you guys are just tuning in, then welcome. Okay. Nice, got 301 headshots now. My headshot to kill ratio is actually pretty good right now. Usually I get like 100 headshots at the most. So it's a good that I'm getting all these. I'm not even like really trying to get headshots. Well now I am. Get my headshot counter up. Wow look at all those zombies coming though. Oh I just got death shot daiquiri. By not even aiming down sights. That's why Daiquiri is real easy to get though. Now, these guns have just became a headshot maniac now. We're from a headshot monster to a headshot maniac. I don't really know if a maniac's better than a monster or not, but whatever. In my eyes, it is, I guess. Well, I'm getting a lot of points too. Getting a lot of points. 339. 345, dang. If I can get a thousand kills without going down, that would just be sweet. Round 23. 636 kills and 347 headshots. Nice. Crap, still not the max cl max claymore limit? Wow. Hard to believe. I thought the max was 10, but I guess it's more. Like 15 or 20, I guess. Well, who knows, maybe they took it off. I doubt it. But you never know. Wow, look at all those zombies. Jeez. I don't know why I'm over on this side. This side's probably not a good place to be. But whatever. Nice. I believe half of my kills have been headshots. Which is awesome. Don't know why I'm reloading after every kill either. I'm just reloading whenever I can. I'm actually doing pretty good right now. Not having to train yet, which is a good thing. Usually I have to train before now. Three hundred seventy-eight headshots, dang. 
At the beginning of the last round, I was at 300 headshots. So I almost got 100 headshots in like a round and a half. I think this round's almost over. Three ninety. I should really try and do a headshot challenge. I'd probably fail it though, but that'd be a pretty entertaining challenge. Especially whenever I did that town headshots only challenge. That did not go too good. Well, I turned on headshots only and I had to get headshots. Yeah, that did go too good. Too good. But I suck at the transit maps anyway. Nearly 400 headshots, 707 kills. And Max claim more limit. So we don't have to worry about that anymore. Until I do get backed up and all the claymores go off. Then I'll have to start worrying about it again. It'd be amazing if I could like get a thousand headshots in one game. That'd just be so freaking amazing. Seeing as I never go for headshots and getting a thousand headshots in one game. Nuke, uh, yeah, might as well just go and get that. <laughs> Try and get it to this high round faster. 406 headshots, 720 kills. I believe that's like more than half what headshots, which is good. I don't know, I suck at math. Math is definitely not one of my best subjects. I wonder if I still have Death Shot Daiquiri. I think I do. I think you lose it if you don't get like headshots within a certain amount of time. And I'm constantly getting headshots, so I think I still have it. And it seems like it, because their heads are sure popping off. That's for sure. Who knows, maybe when I like, get to round 30, I'll start sp spicing it up a bit, using different guns and stuff. Maybe that'll happen. I'm starting to run out of ammo, though. And we had the Gremlin round at round 24, so... We may get next round, or maybe round 26. You never know. Nice. Okay. So nearly out of the AN ammo, and still got the predictive death wish. Is it Gremlins? Yes, it is. Nice. So we got the gremlins now. Let's just go ahead and go back over here. This is my spot whenever the gremlins come. Because they just come in that one spot. And it's easy to kill them. Easy mode. Unless they decide to jump everywhere. That's weird how they keep on going through the floor if they spawn up there. Kind of weird. They're like seeping through the floor. Crap. He decided to turn on me. We're in a different spot. Wait, did I actually get some headshots on the gremlins? I didn't think that was possible. I don't know. I don't remember how much I had at the start of the gremlin round. But we're moving on to round 26 now. Have yet to have to camp, which is a good thing. Or not camp, but train. Don't know why I keep on mixing those up. Probably should have reloaded that ahead of time. Oh crap. That guy did not want to die. Wow, that's a lot coming out of that window. Yeah, that one guy did not want to die though. Definitely wanted to stay alive. Well, as alive as a zombie can be, I guess. Don't really think zombie is technically alive, but whatever. We'll just stay undead, I guess, is the proper term. 
got another max ammo. I don't know why we keep on getting max ammo around after the Gremlin round. But I'll take it. Oh crap. Guess we're going down here now. Kind of did one too, but the zombies kind of forced me to. It'd be awesome if I could rank up also in this challenge. I don't really care about my rank too much. Too much. My rank is actually kind of pathetic. Look, I still got the score. I think my kill to death ratio is a little bit pathetic also. So I don't really know if I'm going to be ranking up anytime soon. I'm actually doing pretty good right now. Oh crap. Never mind. Yeah, remember when I said I was doing pretty good? That almost went bad. End of round already. Nice. Okay, nearly got 500 headshots too. Nearly got 500 headshots before 1,000 kills. So yeah, we do have more than half of all kills as headshots. Which is awesome. Never had that happen before. To be quite honest. Ugh. Well, round 27 already. Things are going pretty good. Wonder how long I've been recording though. Sadly, if I was a pen and... On console, I'll be able to easily tell how long I've been recording. But since I'm on PC, I can't. Because PC would not tell me unless I go to the desktop. I don't really want to do that while recording. And this is actually starting to get kind of difficult camping up here. So I may have to get down and start training later on. But I think we're good for at least a couple more rounds. It's just whenever they come in one big group is when I start getting into trouble. And ammo's starting to become a problem too. Well, not too big of a problem, but it is starting to become a huge factor. Especially for the AK-74U. Because, like half a round, my ammo's already gone in that. Which is not too good. Oh crap. But like I said, the AK-74U doesn't have too much ammo anyway. So you would assume you would run out of ammo pretty quickly in it. And what I'm actually going to keep the claymores for is so I can get um, the free perks from the Gremlin rounds whenever they next come. Or like, if I go down, I'll use those claymores to kill them. That's what I'll do. I just got another, another Puma Puck, I believe. Don't really know what for, but whatever. Max ammo and a nuke. Can I actually save that nuke for next round? Yes, we can. Nice. And we'll grab that max ammo soon. Oh, there we go. Nice, we can grab it without grabbing the nuke. Now we'll wait for some to spawn in. And go ahead and grab it now. Okay, nice. So we killed a few right there. Killed a few for the round. Nearly got a thousand kills without going down. Which is awesome. Don't think I've done that too many times. Even though I'm a pretty good zombies player, I still make stupid mistakes and go down all the time before I get a thousand kills. Yeah, I'm definitely not camping up there anymore. Definitely getting too risky now. Another nuke. Nice. Wow, two nukes in one round. What well, kind of two nukes? The first one did really kill too many. This one killed a lot. And that's a new zombie. There's multiple new zombies. Okay. First time having to train on this challenge. I nearly got a thousand, I mean, a thousand, a hundred thousand points. 
Yeah, I nearly got a thousand points, guys. I'm rich.